Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of Xenomorph Deku. And uh, before we start it, it's also come to my attention to that uh, from the right side of whatever headphones, earphones, whatever you're using, you can hear my voice, but on the left side you can hear whatever background noise I have, which is more often than not my fan. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you this, the left side of my headphones that I'm using to record with this is busted. I can't really hear anything out of it, so I turned the fan down because it was on the highest intensity I had. Because it's really hot in here. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's get into the video. We left off with Izumi being unleashed on the world with all of her rage. She planned on finding the fake hero that did this. She was going to make him pay. And that's what she'd do. She, but first, she needed a hive. So she'd go to Hosu and start rounding up, rounding up all the villains and all the fake heroes. And basically abducting them. Anyone who was a true villain and not a villain by circumstance would be turned into this. The first one to be made would be number six from the AVP 2010 game. And they're all fully sentient and all that. They know what's going on. They share memories with Yuzumi. So they know what all she went through. She can also make Ones that look like face hookers. I do not have pictures of those at the moment. But those ones are more or less just abductors. And, uh, they'll play a part in Bakugo's fate in the future. So, anyway, considering Izumi is two years older than Bakugo, we'd continue on with this. She just keep rounding up villain and fake hero and base and any civilian who really abused their power or their family. She and of the people that are in the league, she'd stumble across Dobby first. She was out with Six, who is a Praetorian. She can make queens, but that's always on the volition of the Praetorians that she has. Six, who looks like this, but is, like, tall. She's the same height as he was when she was in her Praetorian stage. She's, like, Six is like nine, is like ten feet. And Izumi is, well, fourteen feet. She, the two would be wandering around in an alleyway looking for more people to assimilate into the hive. When that's when they'd come across Dobby. Yet, just killed some people that they were about to take. Six would be like a bit angry because she sees Izumi as her mother. Because she kind of is. Because she, she can like lay the eggs with the egg out 
out of the eggs, kind of the human looking face huggers. And the face huggers are just humans with the skin tone of the face huggers. And the tails, the, the other legs, like the six legs between the first and the top and bottom legs are uh, just of extra hands and the sacks on the side are just how thick the thighs are. Yes, they are that thick. And they can reproduce with humans. So yeah, they're all gonna get their own happy ending. Uh, let's continue. Um, let's, yeah, they're at the Dobby encounter. Does she see Dobby? Six was a bit angry because, well, one, that, one, she almost died. Because, uh, fire is hot. And Dobby's fire is hotter. But, yeah, no. <sighs> Sorry for that. It's late here. Uh, Izumi would stop Six from lashing out. Dobby would take notice of them, but... And was about to send fire at them, but easily would would in her very much commanding voice say stop. It was at this point she was like fifteen. But it was it hasn't really been the end of what would have been her third year yet. Your third year out of the middle school yet. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm making her older because, yes. And uh, I need someone to be the ninth, ki ninth holder of one for all. Because I'm not going to make it Mirio because the ninth is going to die. The ninth is going to be a fake. About as fake as all might end this what if. But yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, she would look at Dobby and just say out loud. You are like me. What makes you think I'm anything like you? We are both broken. This society has created monsters like us. What do you mean? I am intending on making in Japan a utopia where people like me and you don't really exist anymore. Really? And what's that? Villains of circumstance. We will no longer be created. One bad day doesn't have to happen. It doesn't have to create us. One bad day it completely changed me and another one and started this whole thing 
Really? And what's that? Ever heard of the missing people of Hosu? Yeah, there are people in high places. Some of them are in relation to this guy. All for one, I think his name is. Do not mention him. He is just a brat with no real idea of how to run a country. Yeah, all for one did try to recruit Izumi during her early days. And that went about as well as you'd expect. What do you... Do you really think all for one could be a xenomorph queen? <laughs> Yeah, no, he's gonna get his ass beat. And she noticed how Tomura was gonna be his little puppet. So she left a little surprise for them. No, they're not dead. It's just something to keep an eye on them. And to make sure that he stays out of her area. An egg. Not just any egg. This egg contained a royal facehugger. And that facehugger would come out of its egg really soon. As Izumi's eyes and ears, as she can see and hear everything that happens to her brood. Now, she would just bring Dobby in. She'd open her arms for a hug, showing that she meant no harm. Six was still on edge because she nearly got burnt. She's, it's going to take her a bit to calm down around him. But, uh, yeah. When she does, they're going to go far. Yes, that's going to be the ship for Dobby. Six. She's going to just kind of have him for herself and uh, yeah uh, let's continue on she would also meet Toga Mustard Magni and Twice Spinner will get will find Stain she would just take him in temporarily and give him to Stain. Because those two are going to work together. Uh, let's just say... Stuff does happen. Like, when... Like, there's... Recruiting would go the same way as Dobby's would. But... You know, with their own respective quirks, instead of it being fire, it's blades for Toga, bullets for for mustard. The that goddamn giant ass magnet that magnet carries around, which is surprising. You'd think something like that would weigh hundreds. If I were to, and she, I think, as I know, Magna is trans. And I forget if it's male to female or female to male. Yeah, yeah I'll just call him Magna. Yeah, Magna, yeah, the, 
their recruitment would go around the same as Dobby's. Twice, on the other hand, would be different. Because he was very fucking broken. And uh, all this has happened in the span of the two years. Twice would be the last person that she'd find before the whole thing. And she'd be Giron, or Giron, or however the fuck you pronounce his name, to finding all of these people. Because her drones and warriors are so widespread that they, they, she could take Hosu with ease right now. But she doesn't. She allows the normal people that haven't really done shit to that they really haven't done shit to provoke her to live out in peace. That's exactly how she's going to rule over Japan. And yeah, she is her own kind of villain. And she just continues on. But when she found twice, she was actually out alone when she found twice. The other people who were originally part of the League of Villains Vanguard Action Squad that we all have come to know and love. Yeah, I know they didn't get like any xenomorph alterations. They're just there, but have like mini face huggers on their shoulders, like riding around on the shoulders or in their hair. All of the drones kind of look like this, but six is bigger, just bigger. Other than that, uh. Yeah, she would come across twice who was under a bridge at that time. He hadn't exactly found a good place to hide. He was not at the point where he was you know, doing all this shit that he's done. Yet, he has his whole suit and all, but it's just sad. She finds him beat to beat up on the ground. He's gone through his whole mind splitting thing that he did in ten, and he hasn't fixed himself yet. But he will get the fixed sooner than in canon. Because Izumi at this point has just extreme maternal instincts. And she's also a lot physically a lot older than what she is. She has the body of a like thirty-five-ish year old woman. That's tall as fuck. And she's built like a female bodybuilder. You know, she got, mu she got them muscles. And on top of that, she's got like the tail, the whole crest, the armor and everything. Yeah, no, she's, uh, thicker than in the picture. And she's also a lot more muscular than in the picture. But, yeah. Uh, let's see, what, how else could this go? Oh, yeah. Uh, she would take twice back to the hive. Like, moving stupidly fast. She'd ask some of her 
warriors and drones that t decided to take up the medical field for the hive. To ready up a room and quick. Because twice was not looking too hot. He had stab wounds. He had a knife in his gut. And the people that were around had just left as she pulled up. She picked him up and was going full sprint for the hive. Not caring who saw her. She didn't care. She just barreled through everything. Of course, not hitting buildings. But a lot of fake heroes got in their path. And she just bulldozed through them. They were flattened. Anyone else who was still alive got a tail through the chest. And her drone, a lot of her drones were out and about that day. And a lot of her warriors too. They had picked up the corpses and were taking them to the hive to turn into more xenomorphs. And she'd put him into their little medical wing of the hive. Now the hive does look like the traditional xenomorph hive, but it looks like it could accommodate for humans. Because they look like this. Or this. Well, the Praetorians would look like this, but smaller. So, yeah. Izumi was actually about to molt into the Empress stage at this time. So she'd take him. She'd take twice to the medical wing, and then she'd go to her little throne area that she constructed. And she'd get into, she'd curl up into like a ball-like thing that the Xenomorphs would do to like camouflage into the walls. She'd do that as like a cocoon kind of formed around her. As she would begin to go turn into an empress. And twice would be getting the medical treatment that would save his life. But he would not be the same after that. Izumi had six look after six and Dobby look after him. And they would as soon as he woke up, they'd both calm him down. Six would explain that the woman who saved him was going to become, was going into Empress stage. And would be with them shortly. But during that time, like the rest of the human squad that Izumi has set up would come into the room. Now, Toga is a lot more passive for her blood craving. Like, she'll occasionally want blood, but she'll know not to get it from any of the xenomorphs. She'd instead ask some of her human friends, the, all the human friends that she has in the squad for some, so that way she could quell the thirst. It was hard for her, but she pushed through. She had a loving, so, loving, she had a loving motherly figure in the form of Izumi. Because if you really think about it, Toga Hell, most 
if not all of the villains, except for like Moonfish and Muscular, were villains of circumstance. And they got a bad hand that with Izumi in their life being a mother, basically. Because she can just decide to go on an other she can just decide to create an ovipositor and just lay eggs and just have see that works like that but that's what she does most of the time but the rest, the rest of the time she's thinking of Dante and Virgil and other times she's just there thinking Thinking about how best to get back at every single fake hero that exists. But we'll get to that another time. That'll be it for this story. Please, if you want to, like. If you want to, subscribe. Leave your criticism in the comments below on what I could have done better. Please do let me know if there are any other audio problems because I cannot hear shit out of the left earmuff. And yeah, that's about it. See y'all in the next episode. Bye.